What's up guys, I'm out in Kona, it's the last day here. Uh, I came out to Hawaii to shoot a little bit more content for my boudoir brand and just do some travel video stuff. When packing for this trip, I realized how many little things that I bring with me that makes my life so much easier. And I wanted to share those with you. Things for photo, things for video, things just in general, good things to have when traveling. With that, let's get into it. Uh, so let's start with the most important thing, your bag. You're going to be taking things with you, fitting things in. You need something small enough to fit under the seat, but big enough to hold all your gear. So I use the Low Pro Flipside Track uh, Backpack 350AW. It's a lot of, it's a long, it's a long name. But here are all the things that I like about this bag. So the first thing is that all the gear opens from the back side so that you can have quick access to it and also when you're wearing it, it makes it really hard to steal your gear. Now it's also split into having a top pouch where you can fit all of your things. I typically fit my drone, my Mavic, mini tripod, all kinds of things like that. It's great for just a day pack. You can throw your sweater in it, pretty much anything you need. The side pockets are for water bottles or I throw my speaker, can't go anywhere without music. And it's even got these straps to hold in something like your gimbal. Extra bonus. These pockets are big enough to hold wireless chargers, anything you need for your cell phones, cables, power bars, you name it. Now I live in LA, but even when I travel, I'm often in places where it would suck to put the camera bag on the ground. So it's got these straps that allow you to just spin the camera bag around, lower it down, and access all of your gear. Your bag stays clean, your gear stays clean, making life way, way, way easier. The next ultra handy thing that I love is this little aperture LED light. I like it because it charges mini USB. Uh, it's super bright, you can pretty much use it anywhere. It's got a quarter 20 on the bottom so you can mount it to your mini tripod, gorilla pod, kind of whatever you need. And it takes up almost zero space. Personally, I love my Sony A9, but sometimes it's just too big to take places. So uh, I love the Sony RX100. It's a full flip out screen, but it does everything. Built in image stabilization. It does 60 frames a second. It does 4K for five minutes. It shoots raw photos. It's really just an all around killer camera. Fits in your pocket. Images match up super nicely with your other gear. Way nicer than you get out of a GoPro. Only negative is that it's not waterproof. Uh, you gotta hold your data somewhere. I love these Samsung uh, solid state drives. This is a two terabyte. I have a desktop and a laptop. Uh, desktop for working at home, laptop when traveling. So pretty much my entire computer is on here. Uh, I really like this because you can password protect your drive when you plug it in and ask you for a password. So if somebody gets a hold of it, they can't just open it up and rifle through your files. So this thing's fantastic. Gotta have a backup drive. This one's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit slower, but it's just a duplicate drive that I can put in a separate bag when I'm flying home. Make sure I don't lose my files like I did on my last Europe trip. So when I use just a Seagate, they're so cheap now, pretty much whatever you can find on Amazon. As far as straps go, when I'm walking around only carrying one body, one lens, I love the black rapid strap. That's because it keeps the camera out of the way. When you pull it up to shoot, it doesn't change where the strap actually is. It takes all the weight off of your neck and it, and it looks cool. No trip is complete without uh, wireless speakers. I really love this Bose system. It's the highest quality that I've found and it fits in my side pocket on my backpack. If it's more important to you to have a low end in the sound, and also have it be waterproof, and the JBL Charge 3 is really the one you want. If you're shooting video, three-axis gimbal is an absolute must. Uh, I have the Z-Crane gimbal, and I use it for a number of reasons. One is you can break this bottom part off, and it makes it super slim and small to fit in your bag. Two, it has the widest range of weights that it can carry between my RX100 and my A9. It can do them both super well. I didn't really find any other gimbals that could do that. So when traveling, I think less is more. So I have one hub, for charging it has four usb ports and one usb c so the new macbooks do usb c so i have this for charging my macbook and then this for charging gimbal drone iphone portable battery charger pretty much you name it you can knock it out with one charger when i'm out absolutely all day uh, my cell phone battery dies just like everybody else i really do think anchor makes the best products i'm not sponsored i've just been buying them for a super long time uh, this one in particular does two and a half charges on your phone. So if your friend forgets a charger, you can be the hero for the day. Uh, but this is super small, slides right into the backpack, and it's a lifesaver when you need it. All right, so this is my typical setup. This is uh, two things I'm using here of note are the uh, little mini tripod and the uh, Rode Video Micro. So the little mini tripod fits everywhere. It's super tiny, it goes in the bag. It's mounted up on this table right now. Super stable shot. A little mini tripod and the uh, Rode Video 
micro, so the little mini tripod. And the Rode Video Micro is directional, so it's pointed away from the speakers that are playing on this boat right now. Plus it's super windy, so the windscreen is blocking all the sound. Now I've got a super tiny setup, can take it pretty much anywhere. We shot at the beach yesterday, you would not believe how windy it is. Okay, so we uh, came out to like this Four Seasons area to do a photo shoot and Absolutely no trip is complete without uh, some drone footage. Uh, so the Mavic shoots absolutely incredible quality. They just came out with a smaller one, which sounds like it takes almost as good footage, uh, but is much smaller. So if size is more important to you, go with that one. This is already so portable. I would definitely check it out. We've been getting just absolutely jaw-dropping footage across the islands. Okay, so I got back to my place in LA and I realized that there were a few things that I forgot to talk about. So before I got to record those there, I hopped on a plane to Alaska with some friends and I'm gonna finish up the video right now. So the first thing applies to the backpack. So in the description online, it says it cannot do a 13 inch laptop, but I found a little hack. So the way the bag is designed is to separate the top part from the bottom part. However, if you undo the Velcro, you can slide in your entire laptop. And it doesn't take up any extra space in the bag. Okay, the next thing is that the new MacBook Pro is amazing. However, on the ports, it really struggles. So this hyperdrive allows me to use the two USB-C ports that I have to include uh, two more USB-Cs. We've got your card readers here. We've got two USB-As, but also an HDMI. So it's kind of all in one. You don't have to bring a whole bunch of dongles. You don't have to bring an extra card reader and it, you know, it looks cool. The last thing is traveling with headphones. I like noise reduction, but the big ones are so huge. They take up so much space. You have to wear them around your neck or they take up so much space in your bag. So I got these in-ear ones from Bose. They take up almost no space. There's still noise reduction. They charge via micro USB. And in my opinion, they sound about 90% as good as the big ones. And so the trade-off for me of having something so small that I can slip in my pocket outweighs by a long shot the difference in audio quality. Okay, so that wraps up the video. I hope you guys learned a few things that you can bring that don't take up as much space, but still do essentially the same thing as the bigger items. Something to make it easier for you guys for traveling. I'm excited to make more of these videos for you. So if there's anything that you wanna know, make sure that you leave that in the comments. You know, I think a lot of people tell you to, you know, like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you wanna see more, but I'm, I'm not gonna tell you to do that. But you know, those links are available for you, you know, somewhere on this video. All right, so until next time, I'll see you then. Ugh, I hate that. <laughs> Alright, it's too cold out here. I gotta get inside.